Your raw data is imported via your feed. The feed contains your categories, products, properties, and values. You need to set up so-called tasks to import your feed automatically. There are a few different tasks you need to set up. We'll show you how to set up the essential tasks. We'll start with the Import Default Feed task. Name the task, select this option from the drop-down, and click Next. The Email Address field allows you to set an email alert when a task is successful or if there's been an issue. The drop-down at the bottom lets you set the next task if you want to create a chain of tasks. We will set this once we've created all our tasks. The Setup tab is the essential part of the setup for importing your feed. Fill in your feed's URL address in the HTTP URL field. If your feed is locked behind a username and password, you need to fill in the username and password fields here. You can set a feed transformation and validation here. Your feed might be behind an IP block for security. Make sure Tweakwise's IP address is whitelisted, otherwise we are unable to import your feed. Find out how by searching for the whitelist article. Contact us for further information on these options. The Triggers tab lets you set automatic triggers for the task. Fill in the time for each run of your task on each line. You need to use the 24-hour time format. The task will simply be triggered at those times. The API tab shows you the API URL after you've created the task. This link allows you to run the task externally. Let's set up a published task next. Click New Task in the list. Name the published task and choose Publish Data from the drop-down. Click Next to continue. You can set the same email alert setting here for when there are any issues. Set up a trigger if you want this task to run independently. If you want this task to follow the import task directly, return to the import task and set the published task as the next task. Now, what to do if any errors occur in a task? If there's an issue, you'll see the red error box appear in the task list. Click it. Here, you'll see the nature of the error. It could be an invalid product that you need to check, an invalid feed URL, or something else. Please contact us if you're not sure what to do. You can check the statistics on your tasks in the Statistics and Report module in the sidebar. Click it and then choose Tasks. This graphic shows you all runs of your tasks. Click one to view the details. You can see when it started, when it ended, how long it took, and if there were any issues.